morning from Roy Pitts. We had the bathrooms quickly and we are almost on our way to Pulitzwa. We are not going to take too long, we just want to get on the road because it's quite a long way to go. So, Ricky, let's get going. Are you excited for Pulitzwa? My nose is closed. Uh, it's from all this dust. Yeah, but I'm excited. Allergics now. Not awake, but I'm excited. <laughs> so let's get that tent packed so that we can go. And we are officially on our way to Pulenswa. Here we go. 6.30 and we have hit the road. We luckily packed up in the dark, eh, Rex? We got me we managed to. We actually stood and waited for like 20, 20 minutes. minutes for the gate times to open or the field to open as Ricky says. Yeah. And we are on our way. We had a lovely visit from a southern white-faced owl. Yeah, he came to say goodbye to us in the tree on top of our yeah. tent. Just too quick to, uh, to, to take a photo of. A photo or video. Hmm. But it was quite a nice sight. Shop. It was very nice, it was lovely. But anyway, Rix, let's see what we can find today. Yeah, at our second lion sighting of the day. The first one was just just outside Roy Pitts. It's that old male that we saw yesterday as well. And now we have three females, but they look like they are on the hunt. So let's see. But there's a little ridge here, so they are looking just over the ridge. So I don't think if they catch something, we'll see it. But we'll sit here for a little bit and see what they get up to. So we have discovered that one of the females, the three females, is a male, a young male. And then while we're busy looking at them, Vian's dad spotted a female lying in grass right next to the road, just on the other side. And we didn't even see her, she was so well camouflaged in the long grass. 
and she got up and she moved off to the dune but the other three are still looking around quite a lot very cool sighting So we are still here at the lion sighting. They are lying very, lying very nicely on the dune. Well, they're not lying very nicely. The one is not so nice. So, so um, the male, the young male, just came and he like came for us down the path um, from the dune, like right to us. And then he came behind us and he was coming to us all the time. So like we don't want to lose a tire. We only have one spare and we still have a few days left here in the Khalakhari so he went off but he chased us like he literally chased us I don't know the car is pretty fully packed um, so I don't know if he smells our meat or we don't, don't have meat in here oh we don't have meat he yeah. smells our snacks or um, because we have a silver car maybe he saw himself in our reflection I don't know or maybe he's just playful yeah maybe he's just playful He's it a young male. It was a nice experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the core equivalent of running away. <laughs> I literally ran away. You <laughs> ran away from him. We turned off the car a little distance away from this cheeky lion and watched him chase the other cars like he did with us. Clearly showing them who is the king of this stretch of road. After a while of watching him play a game of cat and mouse with the other cars, we left him as we still had quite a long way to go.
sighting of the day and it's not even 10 o'clock and this was a beautiful beautiful big 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 male um, the black maned lions Ricky it was your first ever black maned lion yeah it was beautiful is it no it's amazing like I, I just told Stacey uh, I thought the whole red brown mane from the, from the Kruger the typical lion that you see on a photo or whatever is beautiful and it is beautiful but this is just something different yeah it's, it's your, no it's beautiful it's it's very majestic yeah and it was to a pair of mating lions yeah very cool anyway so let's continue our way to Nosop haven't gotten very far just past Jan Sedroy actually no, so we so, about yeah, we've got a long way to go. 90 odd k's to go to Norso. Yeah, and then it's to Pulenswa. But let's get going and see what else we can find along the road. Yeah, here we go. So uh, we're driving quite far today, but uh, we are passing a lot of beautiful spots by to get to, to Norsop and actually to get to Pulenswa. I think a few spots that you will actually spend a lot of time at. Uh, we went past uh, Dugbart Cork, a lovely picnic site, a nice, nice place to uh, just stretch your legs, have a bite to eat. And then we just went past uh, Kasper's Dry as well, another beautiful waterhole. There were lots of uh, Gemsburg there as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of spots that you will normally stop at, in my opinion. But uh, we are making good time towards Nassau. We It's about 20 past 11 now. So we, we are about 15 kilometers from Nassau. We're gonna stop there for a brunch. But I think by then it will probably be lunch. Uh, have a little lunch there, just buy some ice and fill up our water and they will head back on the road all the way up to to Pulang Chuan. We'll see you guys there. What did you find, Rex? I found two thirds of a white faced owl. Oh, is it? Is it in the bush over there? Yeah, it's uh, quite tucked in for, for the heat for the day. But it's beautiful. We saw it. We saw it this morning as well. Yeah. But it was just too quick to uh, take a picture or just to get some footage. But we saw it. It's beautiful. We enjoyed a lovely brunch prepared by Vian and Ilana, filled up our solar shower bag, bought some ice and filled up our trusty Fortuner with diesel before hitting the road and leaving any form of civilization for the next four nights. Pulenswa. Oh. Pulenswa number one. We made it, Ricky, yes. without getting stuck. Without getting stuck, a lot of corrugations, but we here. Uh... But yeah, got a nice big tree over here. A beautiful, beautiful view over this pan. Very excited for that. And then we've got our A frame. We were really lucky to get Pulenswa one. In my opinion, it has the best view. 
and someone even left us a camping chair. Unfortunately, the bathrooms had burnt down last year, so we couldn't use them. But we became pretty familiar with our little spade the next four days. Okay, so camp is officially set up, but we are just quickly going to go and check they are apparently lions here at the Pulenzoa pan. 11 lions within a kilometer of where we are sleeping. Yeah. Hopefully we can hear a lion roar tonight. That, that would be nice. That would be amazing. Frightening. Frightening but, but amazing. amazing. So let's go see what we can find. And yeah. Happy Ricky. I'm happy. I'm happy. How's that one going downstairs? Hmm, black Ricky. At the lion sighting. Just waiting for them to arise. Stace, how do you feel being this close to Botswana lions? A little bit nervous. A little bit nervous that we are staying just there. Just across just the there. dune. We are staying just there. Just there. still yeah at the lion sighting oh it's so amazing they're in the road and playing and the young ones are enjoying themselves 
and yeah, it's just like a Ricky. It's amazing. It's like, amazing. It's something out of a, I don't know, a David Attenborough movie or something. <laughs> it's like we're literally the only cars here. We're the only people for miles. Yeah, it's only us three that are traveling together and staying together. So it's only us, all three vehicles that are here at the sighting. But anyway, let's enjoy the sighting yeah. further. Timing, eh, Ricky? That was perfect timing. That was quite a eventful day and ended up being quite an eventful evening. Yeah, it was a, a great evening. We had some activity on the pans. We had some activity the, on the pans. The heart appears uh, acted very strangely, they were very confused. It looked like they kept on running up and down and up and down yeah. and like right in front of us as well. They were very close. So we were hoping for a kill of some sort. Yeah, we shone the flashlight in the pan and there were like um, five sets of eyes that were like in the long grass that looked like the lions yeah um that we were like busy stalking and the the heart of this kept on like going towards them then run this way then that way but nothing happened but we will see maybe in the evening we hear something so we just came to bed now got into the tent the they, they look quite far away yeah. but i mean it's still close enough that you can see their eyes so it's still pretty close yeah it was amazing yeah so uh, that's a perfect end to a, a brilliant day yeah but uh, i don't know about you i'm gonna take a quick shower now <laughs> you're going to shower biodegradable extra large wet wipes <laughs> it's, it's going to be brilliant special. it's going to be brilliant yeah yeah so a quick shower yeah and, and then, then go to bed yeah see uh, how much sleep we can get in yeah yeah, yeah. but in any case it's really interesting yeah. yeah but yo what a first night it was an, a brilliant sight to arrive at this pan is huge yeah, and it's, it's beautiful yeah, to look it's out filled on. with game hard to be a yeah. book. one okay. random new so excited so. to see what it what the next three nights, well now it's the fourth, yeah, four nights old, because tonight yeah. still counts. Yeah, it's still, yeah, we're still <laughs> in tonight. But in any case, yeah, it was, it was a brilliant day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early. Oh, technically dark. Dark and early. <laughs> all right. You can know what to do. Press all the buttons, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Cheers. Thank you for watching day six of our Khalakhari trip. If we have misidentified any bird, please drop us a comment correcting us. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. I know this video is longer than our usual videos, but with four amazing lion sightings, how could it not be? So if you have made it to the end, comment down below with a lion emoji. See you in the next vlog. Wee! 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 Guy. Look at the head. Happy hat. It's lucky a lucky hat. Lucky hat. And we were, we shone the show, shone? Oh. Uh, show. <laughs> we um, shone the flash. <laughs>